good to go. All right, so earlier we skinned the bear. A few minutes ago, we removed the skull from the bear. Now I'm just gonna take one of the front feet out of the bear. So that'd be enough for tonight. And then I'll flush the bear this afternoon. And then tomorrow morning, I'll have one of my kids' video, turning the ears, turning the lips, turning the nose, and doing all that stuff. And I'll even do a little pointers on like uh, fleshing and when to salt, how to salt, that kind of stuff. But we're gonna do the bear paw first. So what we have here is the front left foot of the bear. This was skinned all the way up to here. We're back from the field. We're in our house or our shop or at our camp or wherever we're at. And you notice I stopped probably an inch from where the pad starts, which is pretty key, all right? If you know for a fact that you're gonna life size this bear, this is gonna be a life size mount, then you're gonna wanna make a cut right along the pad. So if you pull the hair back, use your knife, you're gonna make your cut. Go where I was. Right. Make sure I got enough light. Because all I'm doing is pulling the hair back. And I'm just cutting right around the pad. Leaving, I don't know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch of skin left on the pad. Because when it goes to get sewn up, the stitch is not gonna hold on the pad, it'll just pull right through. So I'll turn it around. You can see cleanly here's the skin and I'm just cutting around the pad, right, like so. I'll do the one side, and I'll come through here. Again, you're not gonna be able to do this with a huge knife, all right? You're gonna need something in surgical, some kind of a small pointy object that's really sharp. Now you can actually take this pad and separate it from the foot, like so. So if you're gonna do a life size, there's two options. One is cut around here, cut around here, and leave the pad flip like this. And then this pad needs to get flushed, and now you remove the whole foot. The other option is to start here and cut all the way around, all the way through here, and stop here, and then your pad's gonna flip like this. There, there's no wrong way to do it. What you don't wanna do is just cut right down the middle of the pad. If you do, that's no big deal. The tax trimmers can put your pad together. The stitch is not gonna hold, so it'll have to get stapled, and then your pad will be rebuilt with a two-part epoxy and textured to look like the real bear pad. It's not a, a life-ending situation all right it can get fixed this bear here for example is going to be just a tanned wall hanger and possibly a rug in the future so i'm going to remove the pad so no way shape or form is this going to be a life-size mount so i'm just going to remove the pad completely off the foot so there's your pad comes right off your foot's just like this now we're going to skin the foot out and remove the whole foot Again, you gotta have a sharp knife. Turn it over. You're just following the skin. Come through here. Open it back up the other way. If you have a, a lot of times when I'm in the field, I carry a snare with me and I'll hang it in a branch. Or if I'm hunting bears with a, in Princeton Sound out of a boat, I'll have a snare with me and I can put it on a rod holder up on top of the cab. And then I can take the snare and hook it on its foot and it's basically a third hand, and now I can skin the bear this way. Way easier than on a table. You can do it in the woods, put a piece of string around it, wrap it up to an overhanging branch if you're in camp, or you can just sit on your pack, take the feet out. It's, it's not a huge ordeal, it just takes a couple of minutes. If you're backpacking in a long distance and you're harvesting a bear, I would see if you remove the skull and you remove the feet, it'll fit in your pack way easier than if you had the feet on it and the head in it, and it'd be a lot lighter to carry too. I'm just skinning kind of down in between each toe, just briefly. All right, I flip it over and do the same thing here. I like to grab it by the fur and just pull it. And if I pull the fur open, 
get up under there with your knife. You're, again, you're not gonna do that with a huge buck knife or a great big Cutco, you know, flaying knife or something. You're gonna need something small, some kind of a small intricate tool to get in here, all right? Doesn't only really matter what side you start at, but it, you're never gonna get the middle toe out first. So you need to start with the pinky toe or the thumb toe. It doesn't really matter. So whichever one seems to skin the furthest, that's the one I go to. You skin it all the way down. I stick my finger in, in here like this. Now I can separate it. Again, now you got your finger in the next one. If, it's, this looks way too easy. if you're wanting to, if it's binding it in on itself. All right, so you can zoom in right here. It's a perfect example. You see that little tiny hole right there? That's what it's gonna start looking like. That's where you wanna put your knife in between there. All right, and then you just kind of give your blade a little twist. Almost like a, like a half moon. Yeah, and I'll show you what it should look like here in a minute when I get the other three toes out. So the middle toe is the longest one. <laughs> so you might have to skin a little bit further down. Again, there's that little hole. I just stick my knife in between there. And I'm basically rotating, kind of like scooping uh, uh, the fruit out of a kiwi or something cut in half. I don't eat much kiwi, but it's the first thing I could think of. Again. Cutting through the bone, there's no bone there. It's just basically. Yeah, it's cartilage. It's basically the cartilage in between each little phalange. I think they're phalanges. Unless that's the toe bones. Metacarpals. Something. There was a gal that was posted on my page asking about anatomy. So. And there's a foot. So I didn't use any wire, no special tools, just my hands. And if you lay the bear on the table, I have my hand right there, looks pretty similar. You wanna play a joke? Just throw these out on the Glen Highway. Get all kinds of 911 calls. Or no, very well um, attend a trash can. Yeah. All right, so if you look down inside the foot, you can see the cartilage is like a little dish. So you know you're at the correct spot. You can also go in between each toe there's almost like webbing, like a Labrador Retriever would have on its feet, or like a swimming dog. You want to kind of separate that and open the foot up a little bit more. Very, very, very thin skin here. So again, very little pressure, very sharp knife. When the foot's turned inside out, see how it's all wide open? Twice the size, completely turned inside out. And there you go. That's removing the feet. Catch all that? Got it. Right. Morning, Jeremy. We will see you back Morning, tomorrow Jeremy. on a class on how to. Um, Morning, Jeremy. How to salt. I hide properly.